differentiates myself from every other candidate that's on stage uh, in the Republican Party, it's the issue of immigration. Look, candidate number one wants to build a fence. Candidate number two wants to build a parallel fence to fence number one. Candidate number three wants to run a moat down the middle. Candidate number four wants to put barbed wire over the top of the fences. Candidate number five wants to electrify the barbed wire. And candidate number six wants to run drones or fly drones over the entire fence. Look, building a fence is not the answer. It would be, in my opinion, an incredible waste of money. It would be like building a fence around Tampa Bay and expecting that to keep you in or out of Tampa Bay should you so choose to get in or out of Tampa Bay. It's not going to work. When it comes to immigration, make it as easy as possible for somebody that wants to come into this country and work to get a work visa. Not a green card, not citizenship, but just a work visa because we don't, we want, I think, to have a background check so that we don't have criminals in this country working. And then when it comes to the 11 million illegal immigrants that we have in this country, let's set up a grace period where we can document those that are here, uh, getting them a work visa. Taxes aren't an issue if you implement the fair tax, because whether you're an illegal or legal immigrant or visitor to this country, no one escapes being able to pay uh, the fair tax. And then... Even Ron Paul wants to, uh, wants to build a fence, wants to secure the border. But with the exception of Ron Paul, every single candidate wants to address the border violence with Mexico, which is, uh, which is drugs and drug violence. Every single candidate wants to answer uh, the drug violence with more guns, as opposed to the root problem, which is the prohibition of drugs. So legalize marijuana, decriminalize drug use. Understand that this is a prohibition phenomenon at work at the border, which is that disputes are being played out with guns rather than the courts. 40,000 deaths south of the border over the last four years. If we can't connect the dots in this country with the fact that this is prohibition, that these are disputes that are being played out with guns rather than the courts, uh, I don't know if we ever will. Um, I would love to be able to answer any questions, uh, any comments, uh, any insults maybe that uh, any of you have. I appreciate all of you uh, here. I appreciate your activism. Um, I think this country really is at a crossroads. Uh, we either fix it or we don't. And that's my intention here is to, is to talk about a message that with the exception of Ron Paul is really not being said. I, hope, I hoped to be able to provide stereo speakers when it came to Ron Paul and delivering this message, uh, but it needs to be a message of surround sound uh, for it to actually take hold. And right now it appears as though the Republicans are going to nominate a candidate that I think is going to be very status quo and not get at, at the heart of any of these issues which really puts us all in a position of not having a country going forward. 